hot take. Sometimes people should own up for mistakes. I think I made a mistake. I have a customer's 372 here. It was an XT. He wanted it converted and ported uh, on a budget, so we used aftermarket parts. Now, this is the piston that came out of it. You can see I had to beat the snot out of the top of it. You also see it's got very little runtime on it. He said he's put about a gallon and a half through it. Um, I even chipped off both of the skirts somehow trying to get it out. Uh, the cylinder definitely has some internal damage. I was hopeful it could be saved until I actually saw it, which is a real shame. Uh, I mean, it's not like aftermarket parts are expensive, but I'm on the hook for this one. And that's all there is to it. So I've already done machine work on a new cylinder. I'm using a Farmer Tech this time. We used a Dukes last time. Uh, basically the same recipe, 45 band, squish about 20. We'll get numbers in it. Now, here's the issue that I believe caused the failure. Now, it, it could have been a it could have been a manufacturing defect. It could have been a mistake I made. Either way, it Either way, it's no good. So, this is what caused the failure. Little focus there. You can see, obviously, there's a big chunk missing. Um, this pin is just gone. This is on the intake side. This is the exhaust side. That pin is still there. But you'll notice the ring end is not at the pin. It's actually rotated over into the exhaust port. Now, what happened, obviously, I think, is that this ring got into the exhaust port, expanded out into it, snagged, pushed the ring land up, pushed this ring up, and smashed off that top piece. That, yeah, that, that'll lock your saw up right now. Um, now, is that a result of me widening the exhaust port too much? Uh, at this point, I, I think it's... Well, at this point, I think it's possible that that's what happened. Um, I didn't overly widen the exhaust port on this because it is a work saw build. Um... That being said, there's really two ways to prevent this, especially if you're doing performance work. One, uh, just you really got to be careful about widening that exhaust port at all. Uh, again, this is partly why, regardless of whether it was a part failure or an error on my part, I'm covering it because I should have caught it when I was putting it together. Um, people make mistakes. I know I do, so I'm putting it on the internet to own up to that. Uh, so... Yeah, two things you can do in this scenario. One, just be super, super cautious about that. Um, obviously, it caught on the downstroke as it's coming down because that ring is pushed up. So, I mean, that means it was coming down this way, caught the bottom, <laughs> shoved it right up there. Um, you can either be incredibly cautious about your port widths, you can use only the best parts you can find, or... And I've done this. I've done this on brand new saws, and I've not. I can't say I've had a negative experience to this. You can just not run that bottom ring. There's tons of pistons in the world that are single ring. These are good rings. Um, just run one ring. Uh, in fact, I think the last new 462 I did, uh, it was I had to widen the exhaust on it because it was just so constrictive and. I didn't really raise the exhaust after doing machine work. It had a stock number in it. But I widened that sucker so I could get some flow out of it. Um, and it was a similar scenario. That ring pin was right. It was creeping up over there. Didn't like where it was. We, we gained cut speed. We gained in timed cuts on that saw. But it only has one ring in it. Um, so we're going to do some measuring and, and some looking. Chances are with this top end, we're not going to run a bottom ring. I can't say I've ever done that on a 372 so far, uh, regardless of whether it's OEM or aftermarket. Um, just for the sake of comparison, let me grab my dial calipers here. Because the icrometer is saying that the pin location on this new sit piston is further out than it is. But that could also just be a result of a uh, wider section there. So that measurement 
is we'll call it 1395. Same side, the exhaust side. That is 1381. So it's it's a hair smaller. So chances are the pin, the pin is we'll say nominally in the same spot. It might actually be further over um in fact, if we, let's do this, hang tight, this video is getting longer by the second, I made a pun, come on now, just go in the hole. Now you go back in that hole. So you, you have a look there. So we've got I'll mark this in red. I'll mark this in red. What do you think? We've got the old one here. The new one there. I would be inclined to say it's further over. So it might get ran. But, at the end of the day, I'm now stuck doing a whole new top end on a saw that I've already completely rebuilt once with bearings and seals and gaskets, whole nine yards, all the way down to a split case, because I wasn't as careful as I should have been. I was rushing because I've got a bunch of saws in the list to do. Uh, it's life, so I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but we're making it right, and we'll get him back on. He loved how the saw ran the first gallon and a half you put through it. So there we go. Learn from my lessons.